Hi Libra, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. And Libra, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay Libra, let's get your reading started. Spirit and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Libra today. And Libra, happy Valentine's Day. Libra, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. We've got the Five of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like there's a sense of defeat and trying to hold on to whatever that's left of you here. Um, either you could have, either I don't know who, but again, roles can be reversed. Could be your person or you, but somebody definitely feels like they've lost in their own game. And the moon is here. That's a major arcana. You've got one, two, three major arcanas. So it does look like both of you may not be speaking to each other right now. But there is a lot of spying going on, Page of Swords. Someone is spying a lot more. One person is spying a lot more than the other because that's one person whom is like keeping very tight-lipped and not actually showing a lot. Um, very quiet energy here. But something is going on because the moon is here. It could mean secrets, mystery, fear, insecurities, suspicion as well. For me, it also, it also has something to do with intuition. I feel like in the past, Libra, somebody could have kept secrets from you. Intuitively, you could have felt it. Or either somebody told you or you told some, or that you went spying yourself. You could have found out some information, okay? Some information that somebody was actually, you know, not, not ready to, not only not ready to, but not wanting to be exposed. I do sense someone does not did not want to be exposed, but they got exposed eventually, okay? Because the tower is here. So this is a divine intervention. It was meant to happen so that you could see it, so that you don't have to stay with this person anymore, okay? And again, roles can be reversed. And the world is in reverse here, feeling stuck, okay? Of course, because, you know, the moon also represents um, deep emotions. You could have had really deep emotions for your person, but it's almost like it's something that, you know, it's like this is not a win-win situation. So perhaps someone had to be let go, but the world's still, still in reverse. That means, you know, maybe you still find it very hard to move on from this person, to forget what they did. I mean, I always say this, right? We're not robots and <laughs> we're gonna, you know, um, it's going to take time to forget. Even that, I don't think we will ever forget <laughs> unless you have amnesia. But anyway, Nine of Cups is here. All right, so it does look like maybe somebody may want to return because they still love you or that they still can't move on. Or it could go vice versa. The Tower is here. Could indicate also that maybe when somebody does return, you might be kind of surprised by it, okay? Maybe you didn't expect it. But the tower also for me, it's something I feel like an ending between you and your person because of some shocking news, shocking revelation, two of swords in reverse, finally seeing things very clearly and decided to let go of this connection. But got the eight of wands here, Libra. So some good news is coming in your way. Passionate communication, perhaps from somebody here whom is the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this could be somebody um, completely new. It could be somebody completely new. I do sense maybe past person may think about, you know, returning for some of you. But there's a new person here. Uh, I feel like I could be... For some of you, you may have been through a lot in the past. You've been lied to a lot. And I feel like even when you meet this new person, you're still stuck in that energy in the past where you find it really hard 
to trust this person. Even the new person, you find it really hard to trust the new person. There's a lot of spying going on. <laughs> Maybe you go through their phones or social media. But 801s is here. So there's a lot of back and forth communication, I feel, coming in for you guys. Perhaps somebody is going to express to you how they feel about you. It's a passionate communication. Maybe there is an offer as well, committed offer, loyal, because the Nine of Pentacles is loyal, and this is somebody very stable or hardworking, but also be some can be somebody a bit young, okay, or young in spirit. So <laughs> depends how you see it. But Six of Wands is in reverse. I feel like, again, somebody feels like, you know, there's no victory in this connection. Like it's not going anywhere. Like we're going to lose this battle. This could be a negative thinking, okay, for some of you. But this could also be somebody from your past where I feel like they could have fallen from grace because of a bad judgment call in the past with it being in reverse. Ten of Wands is here, Libra. I feel like for, uh, um, a lot of you are carrying a lot of burden right now. A lot of stress as well, I feel. Five of Pentacles is in reverse. A lot of you are focusing on saving your money, focusing on recovering your financial uh, issues. There's some financial issues here. I do see it. But you're trying to recover it. But I feel like slow, it's going to be slow because the Nine of Pentacles is here. Slow recovery, but it will. Okay. So look, you've got the King of Pentacles here. Three of Cups. There could be a lot of arguments, okay, between you and your person. Um, but I do sense that eventually, you know, there's a kiss and makeup here. Every time when you guys argue, maybe you just kiss and make up. And, you know, you guys are going to be all happy all over again. Okay, so you got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Pentacles in an upright position. Okay, whether this is somebody new or somebody from your past, I do see a, a transition or an overlap here, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you may not have, if you have, um, a lot of you did not take enough time, I feel, Libra, to heal and recover before you start a new relationship. For a lot of you, okay, not, not saying all of you, but, you know, maybe, who knows, some people can be broken up for few years and still find it hard to get over the past person, right? So it really depends. But the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse because I do sense there's a lot of trust issues here, a lot of arguments in regards to not being able to trust. And also, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Pentacles, it's like one person is actually really keen about this relationship while the other person is like, I don't think I want to give my all to this connection. I feel like it is fear of the moon here also indicates fear of insecurities. Fear of getting hurt again. All right, Libra, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests in the meantime. Um, yeah, I'm kind of selective with the personal reading, so I don't reply to every email, but we'll see if you are interested. But Libra, I've been working on a video just today. I've been um, recording some videos because I have a lot of clients where I will give them advice to set intention, set their intention, and they always ask me, what, how do you do that? So I'm just going to show some example how I do it so that in the future I can just send them the link. <laughs> it will be much easier. All right, uh, Libra, maybe you'll be ready like tomorrow. I'm not too sure if I have time, but tomorrow or day after, it depends. All right, take care, Libra. Again, happy Valentine's Day and hope to see you tomorrow. Um, as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Bye, Libra.